Today we're going to cover the top five things I love about Cincinnati Art Museum. Today we're going to do the top five things I love about Cincinnati Art Museum. Okay, so one of the things I really like about the Cincinnati Art Museum is the architecture. One of the cool things is it's had several different um, versions. So the original building was in 1886. Um, they brought together, it was after kind of this huge um, centennial exhibition in 1876. They later added a wing in 1907. And they added another uh, great hall in Adams Emery Wing uh, from the 40s to the 65. And in 1993, they kind of went back in and uncovered some of the architectural details that have been covered up over time. And there's another uh, wing in 2003. Um, so because they had such a large uh, collection of 60,000 items, so they really needed to expand. Um, and they got a really cool uh, donation uh, where it made uh, the general mission free. So that's one of the cool aspects as well. So one of the things they do really well here is the Japanese um, style. Here you have a whole kind of um, kimono. There's this, it's a silk screen kind of folded. It's painted with ink, color, and gold. So this is um, really intricate, very rare, really nice one. Besides the uh, Japanese collection, one of their really good collections also is Chinese pottery, so it's really phenomenal. So besides the Chinese and Japanese, um, multiple Asian cultures, they also have a really good standard Indian collection. So one of the cool parts of the museum is uh, called Collector and Calligraphy. So it has a really good Islamic um, show in the, in the museum. A lot of Islamic art and they actually have this really cool Syrian Damascus room, which is um, completely painted um, in the style of the Syrian um, art within Islam. So it was really one of the high points of Islam as far as an art form, so that's a really cool... Unfortunately, I didn't get a shot of it, which would have been totally awesome. So one of the better things they have here is um, early 17, 1800s painting, when Cincinnati was really at the height of collecting and a really growing, healthy city. So you're going to have a lot of really great, outstanding early 18th century, mid 18th century, even 1700s style painting. So one of the things I really like about the museum is the early 19th century. I mentioned 17, 18th, but it was really the 19th century. Um, they have Jean-Baptiste Camille Corot. They have Corbet, Monet, Van Gogh. So a lot of really good early modernist um, impressionism as well. You got Duran, Matisse, Picasso, Moreau, Mogliani. So they have a really solid collection there in the 18th century. It's one of the things I really appreciated in the 19th century, obviously and early 20th century as well. One of the things about the 18th century is it's a lot of um, romanticism landscapes. So this is kind of what was collected during the um, 18th going into the 1900s um, in the Cincinnati area. So this is kind of their focus. So one thing they have here that you might like is they have a lot of uh, colonial art. Um, so you have these famous uh, American women from Ohio, as well as in the background, you even have um, George Washington. <laughs> so, you have quite a few different people here.
So one of the cool things in Cincinnati is they're one of the centers of really high-end furniture from the 1800s and have remained so. So as you can see here, they have these really intricate um, details on the bed, highly woven. And they had a love for kind of Japanese, so they're kind of intertwining Japanese, mixed in with Art Deco and um, craft style. So one of the really key features is they have a really solid uh, Picasso collection, I would say. Um, definitely 10 or 12 at least pieces of Picasso, so you get a pretty good feel for his life. Not everything, but you know, for a museum, that's pretty solid. So one of the really great parts of the collection is kind of they cover really well the Impressionist period. So they have André Durain, Henry Matisse, Pablo Picasso. Picasso I call it in particular because they have quite a few of his works. So it covers a really brief snapshot of his life's development in art, as well as they cover pretty well Miro. They have Mogliani. They also have some other stuff. Cezanne is really excellent. Turner. They have Degas, Renoir, Boncourt. So they really cover that period quite well from the European standpoint, as well as some Americans as well, obviously. So that period is covered really excellent for modernism. So that covers my coverage of uh, the top five things at the Cincinnati Art Museum. There are quite more than top five, obviously. Uh, it has some really spectacular art in there. Um, so I'd highly encourage you to go there. And remember, the admission's free for the general collection. I right, hope you guys like it. Give me a like if you like it. Um, you can subscribe below. And see you in the next muse museum review. Thanks.